Good evening, Africa. Good evening, African Confessions. I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys, and the message reads like this. Hello, how are you? I had a very terrible dream about this lady who was our helper. This dream I had the very first week that this lady moved in with us and in the dream she was wearing my clothes, driving my car and I was the helper. I was sleeping in her room. It seemed as if me and this lady, we had switched up the roles. In that dream I was crying and my husband hated me so much. I woke up and I brushed it off, but maybe I should have acted sooner rather than later because it was God who was trying to warn me. Good morning, African Confessions. Can you please post for me? I am a young lady, happily married, and we have two children. I got married to a young, loving man, and I don't want to lie. Our life was perfect, and I thank God that now everything is back to normal. I got married to a man who is loving and soft, and when we moved to Lusaka, we had to look for a live-in helper because I work from home, but my workload is too much such that I can't do the housework. As we are not Zambians, I asked one lady from church to help us find a good sister in Christ to come stay with us. I told the lady that I wanted someone from the same religion so that we won't have any problems since people are so weird out there. I knew that having someone from the same faith would make it easier on the both of us since we will have the same foundation and since we will all be believing in the same doctrine. It will be much easier for us to get along. We are strict with the food that we eat and we made a choice to go vegan because I believe that it is the best way to survive since people are feeding chicken you know with what and anything that makes the chicken grow faster to go to the market, it is not good for the health of the human being. I also don't eat pork for religious reasons and I wanted someone who believed in the same things that I believed in, especially this thing of eating meat we are totally against it so the lady i asked to find me the helper posted on a church group and looks like someone from the church group just recommended someone who was not of the same faith but pretended to be of my religion this is where the whole story changed and we made a very big mistake to bring her into our life at first, she was uh, very good with the kids and she loved them so much. I am not going to lie about the kids. Yes, she loved them and she began to hate me. I don't know where did this hatred came from, but all of a sudden, she started hating me so much. She was about five years older than me and still one year younger than my husband. It was quite a tricky situation that I was in because I saw that my husband and this woman that I had brought into my house they were almost the same age mates. I was the younger one now in my own home. She would pass comments like, you are very lucky your husband loves you, or where did you get such a loving husband? But all of these negative comments that were sarcastic in nature, I would just brush it off whenever she would pass those comments to me. What happened next then opened my eyes, but I failed to believe it. So I had three yellow soft towels, you know, those intimate towels that women keep in their bedrooms. The ones that I used for wiping myself and my husband after doing the act. I would wash those towels and hang them outside. Suddenly, I couldn't find the two of them. And I kept on asking her. When I couldn't find my towels, I asked her and she said no. I kept on asking her, did you see my towels? But she insisted that she had never seen my towels before. I thought that, oh well, I had misplaced them. So I went on and I bought one more. However, I kept on searching for those towels. You know that feeling that you have when you can't find something. So I kept on looking and looking and looking. I couldn't find rest in my heart. 
One day, my husband brought me flowers and she went on to receive them and my husband said no. He then gave them to me and as I hugged him, I was shocked because in a blink of an eye, I saw that she had changed her face from a smiling face to a frown upon her face. That's when that I noticed that here yeah, we might have a problem. So when she saw that I had seen what she had done. She pretended as if she was having some sort of a headache. She became like the boss in my house and when I would tell her what to do, she wouldn't do anything. She would just say okay and she would never do it. She started criticizing why we never ate meat, saying that women that eat meat are healthy than the women that don't eat meat. One night we were singing songs as we were about to pray. That's when she fainted and she fell to the floor. She started to move in and out like a snake and her eyes were as if they would pop out. It was so scary, but I stood guard over my family. We prayed and we prayed and we prayed. We prayed for her and we laid the Bible on top of her body. And at first, she was screaming up until she calmed down. I wanted someone to help me with the kids and she did exactly that. So I was not going to fire her because of that demonic manifestation. Then I went to work out of the country. And I left her with my husband. I don't know what I was thinking at that time. As I came back a week later, my husband complained that she was wearing short skirts and sitting opening her legs so that my husband can look at what is between her legs. She would also come and knock on our bedroom door and asking if my husband wanted anything while he's wearing tight pajamas, a very small short and a small top. It was weird. I was not happy and I arrived on a Friday. She left the same day going for her off days and Saturday night something said go into her bedroom. Something spiritual told me to go and investigate in her room that she was sleeping in. As human beings, sometimes we just don't want to accept reality. I kept on brushing off all of the red flags that I was seeing, but what I saw in that room in her bag left me speechless. I opened her bag and I saw my two yellow towels. She had taken them from the washing line. There was my husband's underwear. All these were in a bottle and there was a red and a black string. These things were tied together. I also saw my underwear in a separate container and there was a small paper written, let her bleed for six months till her husband is fed up with her. As if this was not enough, then there was a needle pricking the middle part of my pant. I took all of these things and I took pictures. Then I called my church pastor. He came and he prayed and he bent those things away. I sent her the pictures and she kept quiet. I then called her. Then she said I can explain. There was nothing to explain. I just took all of her clothes and I left them by the security guard at the gate of our estate. Told her to pick up her clothes there and to never set foot again in my household ladies all that i want to say be careful of these helpers please pray for yourselves and protection from god i thank god because it could have been worse all that i want to say is that if god has gifted you with a helper that is loyal to you you have to be thankful to god because out there because there are some women that are out there to get you and your husband this is my own story can you please post for me dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admins it is quite similar to a confession that I received, I think, yesterday. I'm still waiting for one of our admins to give us a translation. That woman is saying that she suspects that her maid is a Satanist. Guys, let us meet again in the following episode.